if consciousness is fundamental, where does the physical world end and consciousness begin? The physical world is a product of the consciousness world. One is within the other. It's not an either or. It's all one thing. It isn't as though there's a physical world and there's a mental world. There's only one world. It's all consciousness. It's not just localized in there, it's everywhere. And it's also not in space and it's not in time. It's somehow before space and time. That's what we mean by fundamental. Consciousness is a kind of a substance, a proto-substance perhaps, which is usually in a primordial refined state that doesn't even appear to be matter or energy yet. But from that can emerge what we start seeing as a physical world. Just like ice can take on different phases, maybe we're talking about something like consciousness, which has different phases. So if consciousness is a continuum, then some forms of consciousness can appear to be hard matter. I finished my neurosurgical training at Duke in 1987. Uh, and then I started work at Harvard Medical School after doing a, a fellowship in cerebrovascular neurosurgery. Uh, all along thinking I understood something about brain, mind, and consciousness. But that, of course, was the tremendous gift of, of my near-death experience, is finding out that what I thought was a worldview that we just assumed to be true is actually false, that consciousness is primordial. Uh, all of this emergent reality uh, basically emerges from consciousness. Uh, and it opens the door to a tremendous amount of understanding about consciousness and the mind and the power that human beings have over their unfolding reality.